Elon Musk bringing out the Tesla robot. Hello lovely YouTube family. Today we're going to talk about Elon Musk bringing out the Tesla robot. You really don't want to miss this. Tesla robot. Elon Musk, of course, isn't content with only building electric automobiles and exploring space. He's also developing humanoids. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has stated that the business will most likely release a Tesla bot, humanoid robot prototype next year, which will be geared for risky, monotonous, or boring tasks that people dislike. The billionaire entrepreneur said the robot, which stands roughly 1.7 meters tall, will be able to undertake activities such as connecting bolts to cars with a wrench and picking up groceries at supermarkets while speaking at Tesla's AI Day event. The AI Day event took place as questions about Tesla's full self-driving advanced driver assistance systems, safety and competence grew louder. Mr. Musk said he was confident of attaining full self-driving with higher safety than humans using current in-car cameras and processors but declined to comment on the safety of Tesla technology. Because of accidents involving Tesla cars colliding with stationary police cars and fire trucks, U.S. safety inspectors started a probe to the company's driver assistance technology earlier this week. Tesla's claims for its full self-driving technology have also been called into question by two U.S. senators who have asked the Federal Trade Commission to look into them. In response to a labor shortfall, Mr. Musk stated that the robot would have deep ramifications for the economy. He stressed the importance of keeping the machine from becoming super expensive. Tesla also showed chips it built in-house for its high-speed computer, Dojo, during the event on Thursday to aid in the development of its automated driving system. Dojo, according to Mr. Musk, will be operational next year. In approximately a year or two, he claimed, Tesla would introduce new hardware for its self-driving computer for its Cybertruck electric pickup truck. Tesla announced in July that it would delay the launch of its much-anticipated Cybertruck from this year next without offering a specific date. Some questioned if Mr. Musk, who has repeatedly boasted technological achievements at major events only to scale back plans later, would be able to achieve his goals for the robot on Thursday. Will the Tesla bot be the next fantasy shot to ratchet up the hype. Raj Rajkumar, an electrical and computer engineering professor at Carnegie Mellon University, agreed. The humanoid, which weighs 125 pounds and stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, was unveiled at Tesla's AI Day event and is believed to be built to perform boring, repetitive, and dangerous activities. Must discuss the latest prototype, saying that it might have deep ramifications for the economy such as alleviating labor shortages by developing a machine that isn't very expensive. When you're a billionaire, I'm not sure what extremely costly implies, but I suppose that will become evident later. The humanoid's design is exactly what we imagined it to be. The robots appear to be the type of robots that will turn evil and kill humans. However, Musk pointed out that it is meant to be outrun and overpowered if necessary. It's dressed in a white skin tight suit with a glossy black shoulder and head, and the Tesla emblem is emblazoned across its chest. The Tesla humanoid is futuristic and predictable, following the label's clean design style, where it had so much potential to truly accomplish something new. If you're going to construct a pleasant humanoid robot to hang out with us, make them look less scary and more approachable. Consider popular robots such as C-3PO from Star Wars, and the Autobots from Transformers. Wouldn't it have been awesome if the humanoid could also transform into a car? Iron Man, Baymax from Big Hero 6, they all have eye-catching and bold designs and would make for a nice piece of decor when they aren't doing their boring, repetitive, and dangerous tasks. They're all bright and cheerful, but not real, and they appear to be having a fantastic time. We don't know if your Tesla bot will be configurable or available in multiple use and we don't know if the initial design can be enhanced. Perhaps a Supreme Box logo, Travis, Scott Jordan ones, or an iced-out Rolex will be available. The first prototype of Elon Musk's humanoid robot should be available next year. Physical employment will essentially be a choice in the future, Musk added. While we wait for the formal release of the Tesla bot, we're making the most of our daily responsibilities and starting to prepare for the day 
when we'll have to outpace Musk's robot army. Still, robots are a fascinating concept that has captivated human imagination for over a century. If you don't want to wait for the Tesla bot, which may or may not arrive, here are several robots you may try right now. Robot Vacuums When it comes to monotonous and dull activities, the most well-known robot product line is probably for models that clean your floors. With its Roomba series, iRobot started the trend, but there are now a slew of additional robot vacuum cleaners and floor moppers on the market. Robot vacuum cleaners are made by companies like iRobot, UFI, Samsung, and others. Bots that deliver packages Bots are on their way to your front door. Companies are experimenting with robots that deliver straight to clients all across the world. A fleet of charming Cubabots drew notice in Berkeley, California, as they roam the streets bringing meals for the city's students. They both bothered me. One of the machines was kidnapped by a man who was enraged by their existence, and authorities were able to trace it down using GPS. Amazon has a delivery bot, which is unsurprising. Scout, the company's delivery bot program, began two and a half years ago near its Seattle headquarters. Amazon announced last month that it would open a Scout R&D center in Helsinki. Robotic delivery systems are also being developed by Google, Postmates, and other companies. Cops on patrol in the mall. At least in the eyes of the companies selling the products, robots can help with security and policing. And you might see a real-life robocop in some parts of the world. A PAL robotics product is being used as a police bot in malls and tourism locations in Dubai. It allows people to obtain information, pay penalties, and report crimes. One of the initial markets for Boston Dynamics, a company known for producing some of the most eye-catching robots, is security. Although its backflip-capable humanoid Atlas robots are the closest thing to a Tesla bot so far, the company's current offering is the dog-like Spot Mini. Spot Mini, on the other hand, did not fare well in New York City. Following complaints from Rep. Alexandria, Ocasio-Cortez, and other members of the public, the New York Police Department canceled a contract for robot police dogs. Robots that can act as telepresence Even before COVID-19 wiped out business travel, some organizations argued that making a virtual appearance at a faraway site using a telepresence robot from a company like Double Robotics which puts an iPad on a stock that you can wheel around an office, may save a lot of money on plane tickets so that others know who they're dealing with. Your face appears on the iPad screen and the iPad's camera beams its view to your screen. Prices start at $4,000 and go up from there. Educational Toys Lots of firms are trying to capitalize on parental fantasies that their kid could be the next Elon Musk if only they acquire the perfect educational robot. They may not be a direct route to a Carnegie Mellon engineering degree, but they can be entertaining and educational. The 4M Tinkin robot is a low-cost way to start playing with mechanical toys. The Wonder Workshop Dash robot, which costs $150, is already assembled but can be controlled by children using simple programming. The LEGO Mindstorms 51515 Robot Inventor Kit which costs $350, combines open-ended building with programming. The $489 Anki Vector offers AI voice control and a camera if you want more advanced built-in technologies. Freshly Brewed Coffee When a factory floor robot meets a barista, what do you get? Gordon, a coffee-making robot at Cafe X. They aren't yet displacing Starbucks employees but one can be seen in action at San Francisco International Airport's Terminal 3. Workers in Warehouses If you work in a warehouse or factory, you're likely to come into contact with a robot at some point. Breweries, bakeries, and brickworks are among the places where the machines have appeared. What do you think about Elon Musk's new invention? Does the world really need it, or should he just forego the whole idea as it isn't necessary at the moment? Does the human race need this at the moment? Tell us in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you will love them.